Democracy, meaning rule of the people, is a system of government in which the citizens exercise power directly or elect representatives from among themselves to form a governing body, such as parliament. Democracy is sometimes referred to as a rule of the majority. The money you pay in taxes goes to many places in addition to paying the salaries of government workers. Your tax dollars also help to support common resources such as police, firefighters. Tax money helps to ensure the roads you travel on are safe and well maintained. Taxes fund public libraries and parks. Federal Reserve Banks are not part of the federal government, but they exist because of an act of Congress. Their purpose is to serve the public, so it's the Fed, private, or public. While the Board of Governors is an independent government agency, they Federal Reserve Banks are set up like private corporations. The U.S. Federal Reserve is a privately owned company controlled by the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and J.P. Morgans and prints the money for the U.S. government. The true power of the Rothschilds goes by far beyond the banking empire. They are also behind all wars since Napoleon. The federal government is by far the nation's biggest landowner, holding 640 million acres of purple mountains, fruited plains, and amber waves of grain in the name of American public. When the missionaries came to Africa, they had the Bible and we had the land. They said, let us pray. We closed our eyes. When we opened them, we had the Bible. They had the land. How America used highways to destroy black neighborhoods. It's time for America to reckon with the role that highway projects too often play in ripping apart underprivileged communities around the country. Black citizens of the city of Miami have continuously dealt with racial inequality, police brutality, and white superiority. But the degree and the scale of the destruction of the construction of the expressways in Overtown was an unforgivable and out of boundary decision, even for the Bias City Committee. The name Overtown comes from the fact that it was located on the other side of the railroad tracks from white communities and people had to go to Overtown to this neighborhood. During the Jim Crow era, it was commonly called Colored Town. The neighborhood eventually flourished into a well-defined community with schools, homes, churches, and a center of entertainment with theaters, nightclubs, hotels, and markets, earning itself yet another nickname, Southern Hollow. Miami I-95 cut the heart out of Overtown, a thriving black community. Know your history. Whoever that don't study nor know their history is bound to fall victim to it again in its stolen legacy. Bless world, grow great. Don't never underestimate the value of a black man owning what's his. Imagine the Dade County projects looking like Sunny Isles Beach or Brady. Who says the hood must look like poverty? Who gave you that idea? That's highway robbery. Because if you think about it, everyone in the hood goes to their neighborhoods for work. When it comes to having a good time, people from the hood go to their neighborhoods to have a good time. So it's the hood that builds these people up. Once you start fattening them up, ain't gonna be no more fattening them up. Fattening your own self up. Black community must have self-preservation first. Take care of our own first. No offense to anyone, but y'all taking care of. Y'all been having to take care of. It's time we take care of our own. You understand me? Take care of our own. Just like they took care of their own. Yeah, black people. We ain't asking for you to. We take care of our own. <laughs> Let's well grow great.